This is what we come to see. We're looking at the world champion. And he wants to stay that way too. You told us earlier about Ray's commitment to keeping the title. The hype's all there. He's mentally prepared. Give us a prediction of an outcome. It's going to be. It's going to be one of the hardest kickboxing fights you'll see. These these guys are both professional kickboxers, and a Ray starting off there with a good leg kick. Um, this will be one of the Ray's hardest opponents. Although he's fought in hard guys in Bangkok. Uh, uh, sorry, hard guys from Bangkok in um, Hong Kong. So we'll see if he's learned a bit in, in that department. But he's starting off well with leg kicks. Ray Sappho, of course, one of the most powerful men ever to step in the ring, in my opinion. And especially fighting at light cruiserweight. He's awesome. We'll see what the uh, Melvin Murray said about... Uh, Mike McDonald said he's a class above Rob Martin who Ray defeated to win the title we'll see if those uh, words are true probably never ever seen a uh, fighter of any either boxer or kickboxer that's as, as good as trim as Mike McDonald he's certainly cut up isn't he Oh yeah, that, that's what you, you get when you work hard in the gym. He's uh, by, by his appearance, he's a disciplined trainer. Eats well, trains hard. If, he, if he's got the skill level, he'll be like um, one of the best fighters in the world. But he's fighting a modern day kickboxer by the name of Ray Sugarfoot Sifu. And he's going to be in for a hard night tonight. Well at the press conference, Mike Thunderkick McDonald said that he had a high threshold of pain. I think that's going to be tested to the limits tonight because those leg kicks, I've seen them put, put bigger men than him down. Oh. And a bit of the flashy stuff too. I was speaking to Ray last night. He said that he's going to try everything. He's going to mix it up. He's not going to set a pattern that um, McDonald can work on. He's going to do everything. And he's sure showing a few different tricks here tonight. Good knees from both camps. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, muscle power in that in that clinch. Good start for Ray Sefo. Oh, very good start. Um, very promising start. We heard a lot about this um, Mike McDonald thunder kick, about his kicking power. Um, a lot of people believing that Ray had to look out for the kicking. But uh, we've seen nothing of it so far. But the thing is, Ray's so super fast that if Mike McDonald can kick hard, and he probably can, if he can't kick fast enough, then he won't be able to hit um, Ray. Ray will move away too fast. Round two. Although he hasn't tried them yet. Ray 
by Sefu. Hard on attack. Oh, just oh, beautiful left hook. That's the sort of punch that won him the title in the first place. He put Rob Martin down with one of those. Mike McDonald, obviously a lot tougher. He can take that sort of punishment. As I was going to say before, we haven't seen it yet, but Mike McDonald is a very good high kicker, and he can kick very fast. He's probably just waiting an opportunity to put... I think he was going to throw one then, Rebel. We just about saw one, but before the kick connected, Ray had uh, swept his leg off, off the ground, which put Mike down. Chris Ray, he's not using this as a springboard or anything. He's already been invited into a big eight-man contest in Russia. And uh, he knows he's got to get through this one first. But that's the one he's really looking forward to this year. Takes place in October or November, I think. But first things first, back to Mike McDonald. And Ray looking very sharp tonight, very, very sharp. Well, Ray said that he, he thought that the training he'd been doing for this fight, he felt probably a little bit stronger and, um, than he did for the Rob Martin fight. Oh, good straight right hand. Followed up by the knee. And a leg kick to finish. Another good round by Ray Sifu. That's the second round, we've got three more to go. Here we're going for round three. That's the power that Ray Sefo commands. He's starting to enjoy this. Sefo. He scored one. Oh, that was a big punch. That was that left hook. He's done it again. Rob Martin down. Rob Martin couldn't get up from it. We're going to see how Mike McDonald will do it. He's tough. He said, no, I want some more. Where is he? Here he comes again. Ray Sefo. He's trained hard, he wants to keep the title. Knees! That's a thing that Mike McDonald hasn't done a lot of. Right. Knees are a big part of the Thai kickboxing. Um, you want to use all your weapons. Like that, that left hook that he was caught with before, most men would have gunned down. I think it's only the fitness in that that makes the man so hard to knock out. Yep. That, that allowed him to get back up from that. Well, Mike McDonald got, got up on the count of 10, so he just made it. But he just got caught with a right hand, and we've got another standing eight count. Ray Sifu's on fire tonight. Lolohe Muli. Oh, what punishing. Oh. Well, that'll be it. I don't 
to get how fit he is. He's not going to get up from that. The fight's over. Ray CP retains his cruiserweight world title. You are looking at the best light cruiserweight in the world. I don't care who they are, there wouldn't be a man in the world that would have an answer to that combination. That's right. Um, last time Ray won the title, there's question over the American, was he up to that standard of fighting? But um, tonight we've got the number two best fighter in the world and there'd be no questioning that Ray is the, the world champion.